Today I'll be showing you this kit to make paper cartridges for your cap and ball revolver. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. To start, let's take a look at what's inside the kit. Now this is available in different options and if you'd like to contact me to find out the different options available, pricing or how to order, just look down in the description below. I would be happy to put one of these together and get it sent out to you. It's available with a 36 caliber cartridge former or a 44 caliber cartridge former or both and this is obviously an example of one that includes both. Now to make the cartridges, the first thing I'm going to do is take out this pack of cigarette paper. This is the paper that I always use. And I'm going to completely remove it from the packaging. And if you'd like to use a coffee paper or a coffee filter paper, that's also fine. But this cigarette paper also works well. Now that I've got those out, I'll keep them bunched together. And I've got a pair of scissors here that I'll use to cut them in half. Just the entire pack like that. So now I've got lots of small cigarette papers. The kit comes with all these circles already cut out so that you don't have to worry about cutting them. That takes a lot of time. I've already done it for you. Other things that it comes with, you've got some bullet lube for the finished cartridges, glue stick to put it all together, and a nice little powder funnel to, for filling the cartridges up as you'll see in a moment. So let's go over how to do this. I'll do a 36 caliber cartridge as an example. I've got the former here, a little cylinder type die and what I'll do is I'll take one of my papers and my glue and I have a piece of scrap cardboard here. Scrap paper works too but we don't want to get glue down onto the table. Now if you look closely at cigarette paper it will have its own adhesive on it. It's hard to see but on this case it's over on this edge and I'm going to hold that side away from me and then I'll glue this edge over here like this and I'm just covering about a quarter to a half an inch of that edge with glue. Then I'll take the former and with the self-adhesive strip now away so that it will be cut off I'm just going to tightly roll this paper around the former allowing that glue to hold it together. Now you want it tight, but if it's not tight, this former is tapered, so all you have to do is just slide it down farther into the paper, which is going to tighten it on. Now it has a ridge in the plastic right there, as you can see that I've just notched out with my fingernail. If I take a razor blade, that little ridge will just easily guide my blade all the way around, and I'm not pushing in hard at all, you don't want to carve into the plastic of your former. You just want to cut through the paper. Now that excess paper will just easily pull away. Then I'll take the knife again, and this time I'll cut right along the end of the former. So now we're left with the perfectly sized paper cone for the envelope portion of the cartridge. I'll set that aside just a moment, bring over my cylinder die, get one of the circles we might like to stick together a little bit okay and I'm just going to set that right on the cylinder centered or roughly centered over the hole then I'll take my glue stick again and the former and I'm going to roll about a quarter of an inch or so maybe a little more of the end of the paper on the glue then just stick that into the circle and press it down into the cylinder. And it's loose enough that it will press all the way through, pushing that paper tight. I'll bring it back out, and I can just use my finger to make sure it's tight all the way around. And then I'll carefully pull that off and just let it dry. Now at this point, you could continue and just repeat until you've got the number of cones that you want. Once you've made all the envelopes that you want to, it's time to move on to the next step of charging them with powder. You can see I've placed an envelope back into the cylinder, and you can just use the end of your former to pick it up carefully and do that. And I need to add the powder now. 
If you're using this former, you don't even need a powder measure. I've already got the powder measure built in. On a 36 caliber cartridge, a standard load is 17 grains, and that's what this holds. So I'll just use my powder flask to fill up the measure in the former. If you get a little too much, like I just did, the straight edge of your razor blade will nicely just brush that off. Then, kit comes with a little funnel. I'll place that right into the paper and just dump in the charge. Now, it's time for a bullet. And for this example, I'm using the 36 caliber Colt Cartridge Works bullet from Arizgon Bullet Molds. And I'll take my glue and just roll the heel of the bullet in the glue. Or you can just roll a round ball. This kit works great for round balls, as you'll see in a moment. Now I carefully just lower that bullet down into the paper like this. And if I give it a push, it compresses the powder. And I'll lift the cylinder up, push the cartridge through, as you can see which just helps to adhere the paper to the bullet. Now if I press down, it pops it back out. I can give it a little nudge from the back and out pops a perfectly formed paper cartridge in 36 caliber. Now let's talk just a moment about lubricant for the cartridges. Some people like to just load these into the gun dry and then just place some lube or some grease over the chamber mouth. Uh, other people will take these and just dip them down in molten wax or lubricant. That all works fine, uh, but the kit does come with the lubricant I use, which is a 50-50 mixture of beeswax and lamb tallow that I made myself. And I've put it in this dispensing tube, so you just twist the bottom end to let a little bit come out. And you can just use this to go around your bullet, just filling in that lube groove, maybe even leaving just a thin coat on the bullet itself. And then that will work well also. Just a few other things to say about the kit in closing. I mentioned before it works for round balls, other projectiles. As an example, this is the one we just made with a 36 caliber Colt Cartridge Works bullet. It's already got the lubricant on it. This one has the 36 caliber Richmond Labs bullet. Same powder charge, fits nice and tight. That one is a 36 caliber round ball. The round balls do drop right down into the paper nicely. I know a lot of people will wonder about that. This one has a 44 caliber round ball. It's a 454 diameter. And the 44 former has a built-in measure as well with a 25 grain charge. And this last one is the 44 caliber Johnston and Dow bullet from Air Gone Bullet Molds, which works very well. Also, about the papers, that cigarette paper, you'll notice I just cut them evenly in half. I did not cut small for 36 and large for 44. These little half papers you end up with, end up with, excuse me, they work great for the 36, they work great for the 44, so you don't need to worry about having some longer or shorter, they're all the same, as are the round circles. Those are all the same as well, they're just three quarters of an inch, this way you don't have to trace a penny or trace something smaller for a 36, they work for both calibers. And as I said, if you would like to order one of these kits, just look in the description below, you'll see how to contact me where you can learn the different options available and the prices and how to place an order and I'll gladly get one out to you. I do have them available now. I hope you enjoyed this look at these kits and I hope it gives you the joy of making cartridges as easily as I've been able to do them. Don't forget to look in the description on where to find me on social media and leave a like on the video and subscribe so you can see more videos. Thank you so much for watching.